All right, the swimmer problem from class two. Okay, so part A to get some exercise. The swim coach decides the team needs to swim across the river and back. Okay, so let's draw the river. The river has a length L. If the river is L meters wide and flows at, okay, so this is going to be the VR, the flow rate of the river. What two angles does a student who swims at a constant velocity of Vs need to swim to get back to the same point? So let's say they start here. Okay. So they will need to swim in this direction with the velocity Vs, which is constant, is an angle theta. And essentially, uh, the component of Vs in this direction needs to cancel out Vr. So we can take, we could draw a little triangle, and we can see for this, we would have Vs here, here's theta, uh, this would be Vr, this would be Vs, so we need the component of Vs going in this direction to cancel out Vr, which tells us that, in fact it's easier just to wipe that out, this is Vs sine theta, so we know that Vs sine theta is equal to Vr, which tells us that theta is equal to the sine inverse of Vr divided by Vs. And on the way back, they obviously need to go this way. Again, to cancel out Vr, that angle is going to be theta as well. So you would have this, ang this angle here will be theta, and theta on the way, the way there. Okay, thank you. Second part, okay, in part B, coach says they have to swim up and down the river instead of across. This one, the wording, the little confusing maybe, but bear with me. They start swimming upstream. How far upstream does a student have to swim so that when they get back to the starting point, they've swum the same length of time that they did when they went across the river. So let's uh, simplify this if possible. Um, so here's the river, here's situation. Uh, up and down. So the students oh, would swim, you're going to call that a distance LS, they go VS in this direction, and then they come back at VS, but remember the river has a velocity VR. So going upstream, they would have the time to go from here to here would be equal to Ls divided by the velocity, which is Vs minus Vr, because, v, because Vs is going upwards and Vr would slow them down. On the way back, T, we're going to pull that one down, would be simply Ls divided by Vs plus Vr. They would obviously go faster relative to the ground because they have the speed of the river plus the speed of the uh, swimmer. Then let's consider what's happening when you go across. Okay, so across, we have a distance L this time. Uh, when they go across, we said they were going at speed Vs. As that is theta, that means that this is Vs cosine theta. So the horizontal speed, if you like, is Vs in this direction, cosine theta. Uh, so T, uh, let's say, call that a, call that B, T from A to B is equal to L divided by Vs cosine theta. It's obviously the same on the way back. So B to A is also L divided by Vs cosine theta. What is cosine theta? Simple. It's a triangle. Here is, here is theta, here is Vs, here is Vr. So if we're going to call that Vx, then I would say that Vx is equal to um, the square root of Vs squared minus Vr squared. So the cosine of theta is equal to the square root of Vs squared minus Vr squared divided by Vs. Okay. So the time up plus the time back down is equal to the time across and back, and we need to find out what that distance that they need to travel is for that to be consistent. So, let's 
this now it's just algebra. So we have Ls divided by Vs minus Vr plus Ls divided by Vs plus Vr is equal to 2L divided by Vs into cosine of theta, which is the square root of Vs squared minus Vr squared divided by Vs. So that will cancel. And we are going to have something that looks like Ls into Vs plus Vr divided by the product of these two things. I'm just putting the fractions. So that's Vs squared minus Vr squared, difference of two squares, plus Ls into Vs minus Vr over Vs squared minus Vr squared, which is equal to 2L divided by the square root of Vs squared minus Vr squared. Uh, then we can simplify that by multiplying the top out, because obviously they have the same denominator, and if you add the tops, you're going to end up with 2Ls Vs, because the Vrs cancel, equals 2L divided by Vs squared minus Vr squared, square root, and cancel 2, that's nice and easy. And uh, if you simplify it, you're just going to get Ls is equal to L divided by Vs. And on the top, you would have the square root of Vs squared minus Vr squared. And that is the final result.